This strategy in this video is going to look at the strategy for division called partial quotients. It's great to take students from their understanding of multiplying up into partial quotients. Instead, this time, it's going to look like it's in a traditional division bracket. However, it's going to have a long tail. We're going to look at 481 divided by 5. Students are going to use the skills they understand for multiplying up to help them. However, in this case, they're going to keep track of how many groups they're taking out by subtracting it within the algorithm. For 481 divided by 5, we're asking how many groups of 5 are in 481. We obviously know that 100 groups of 5 are not in 481 because otherwise we would be at the target number of 500, which would go over what we're looking to go towards, which is 481. A student might decide to maybe half that or use a friendly number like they have in multiplying up to see how they could answer this algorithm. So if we thought that there were at least 50 groups of 5 and 481, we would know that 50 times 5 gives us 400 or 250. Once I subtract this, I know that I'm left over with the difference of 231. I can't put another group of 50 in there because that would give us another 250, which would be over, remaining, over the remainder of what we have left. So I might go down a little bit and do 40 groups of 5, which would give me 200. So if I take off another group of 200 out of my 231, I'm left with 31 as I'm looking at the problem. Students in this case might decide to go down to 10, do different kinds of estimates, or they might be able to just skip count by fives to figure out that there's an additional six groups of five that fit into 31. When you subtract 31 minus 30, it has one remaining left over. Off to the right, looking at how many groups of five will go in, students can add up quickly to see that 96 even groups of five fit into 481. So at the top of the algorithm, they can put their total, which was 96, and then down here we know that we have a remainder of 1. Even if you need to, kids can kind of get the initial idea when they're doing partial quotients. When we look at the hundreds place, we knew that there were zero groups of um, 100 that would fit, or 5 times 100 would not fit into 481 because it would be 500. Looking at the right side of what is happening in the algorithm helps students to start to understand what eventually is going to go in the top of what we're looking at in division. However, being able to show it in partial quotients is a great stepping stone for students as they're learning how to eventually go into the traditional algorithm in division.